Hi guys, Jody Han, Mrs. Han Painted, and thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to paint a watercolor landscape. It's a nice little rolling hills landscape. And I'll be showing you how to do a wet and wet background, doing some layers, some lifting techniques to create clouds in your sky. And then we'll do some uh, layering with different flowers. And you can see here there's a little bit of a blur here. So I'll show you how you can create um, kind of those fuzzy effects in your wet and wet paint techniques. And then layering over the top to create uh, trees and bushes and grasses. So grab your paintbrushes and your paint and join me in this landscape postcard. Uh, this is the fourth of the four total in this series of landscape postcards. So if you were following along with my other videos, this is the last one in the series. Now, uh, thanks for joining me and let's paint. All right, our last project here in this class is another landscape postcard here, another vertical one. We're gonna go ahead and do the same tape down on each side that we did for the three previous paintings. See if I have enough tape left on this roll to finish this one. Go ahead and start with our flat wash brush and we're going to wet our paper down with clean water. Just make sure that you don't have any puddles or ponding areas where the water is sitting. We just want a nice even coat. So you can go back and forth in different directions just to make sure that you get an even coat of water across your paper. And then we don't have any ponded areas or puddles that will leave cauliflowers or blooms on your paper as it dries. So, Okay, we're going to go ahead and create our sky. We're going to have an area where there's a little rolling hill and then in our little bit further down is a darker grassy line area where there will be trees against. So I'm going to go ahead and start and get some of my prairie sky, which is that bluish green color. kind of or blue with a hint of green to it I should say all right so I'm just gonna do a nice wash and go down a couple inches I think right about there rinse my brush out now I'm gonna get some green and I want to use that prairie drop seed that's that uh, greenish gold color goldish golden green I guess And here I'm just going to go ahead and make a little bit of a line comes up at a hill. That'll be my background. Just blend that down. And just keep carrying the paint and pushing it down. And I want that to be kind of fuzzy, so that's um, why I'm not letting that dry before I add that green. This next row that we're going to do, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more, and then we'll go over it for our foreground. But I also want to put in a little bit of color for maybe some little flowers that would be down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my round four, and I'm going to take a little bit of this pink that is the cardinal flower. I'm just going to dab a few little spots of where I want some flowers to be. Dry my brush off after I rinse it and then I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit so I don't get these little spidery marks here. And I think I also wanna add in a little bit of purple. So I'll take some of that blazing star as well and I'll just kind of tap some of that in and then we can blend that into that wet background and we'll go back over this with a little more detail but this will give us a really fun bit of flowers down here okay we'll go ahead and let this dry and then we're going to go back over the top of this oh 
you know what, before I let that dry completely, how about we add some clouds into our background? So if you saw that paper towel from the last painting where we uh, lifted out some of our, for our sun, I'm just gonna go ahead and lift out a little bit for some clouds. So I'm just dabbing and give yourself some cloud shapes. It doesn't have to be very white and just be a little bit subtle. All right, now we can dry it, sorry about that. Right, now that that's dry I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take my round four and I'm gonna work on adding another layer here where uh, we have like rolling hills in the background and then we have an area here where there's another little rolling hill maybe some trees growing along it so go ahead and get that same green that we used the prairie drop seed and I'm gonna make another little rolling hilly area and then I'll take some water and I'll just blend this down. So just dip your brush in the water and pull that color down just until it kind of disappears into your background. Okay, so I'm going to take that green again, and I'm going to add some little bushes very, very far back here. So where that kind of fuzzy line is, I'm just going to dab some green right along that ridge line. This will be like really far distant trees here. And then maybe we have a tree around here somewhere as well. I think that's still kind of wet, so maybe I'll wait. Yeah, that's still pretty wet. So while that's drying, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll work on more of this along the bottom. So I'm going to add in a bunch of grassy areas and then do some more detail for our uh, plants or flowers that are here in the foreground. So I'm going to get this uh, brown iron oxide color. This is the wild rye from my set. And I'm switching over to my round size one. And I'm going to add in some brown grasses along the bottom. So just like we did with the silhouette picture, we're going to just do some very quick swipes up. And if you want to dilute that brown down some so you get a much lighter brown, that is something you can try too. And here I kind of went up into my wet area, which actually is kind of a fun effect, so I could add a little bit more, make that a little fuzzy, like it's some fuzzy grasses or something there. So that actually kind of worked for my advantage. If you didn't get that effect, you can go ahead and just wet the area a tiny bit before you put your, your grassy tops on. Or you can just dab and it'll look like that. That looks good too. So I'm just dabbing like almost little dots and dashes across the top edges of my grass. And then I'll go ahead and I'll add some green in there too. Let's put some green grasses mixed in there. Maybe we could do a little bit of yellow. Just kind of mix that up because it wouldn't all be green and brown. If you want to add some that would be a little further back, you could start up a little bit higher and those could be like little clumps here. It's a little bit of grass here maybe. I'm going to work on adding some detail to my flowers. I'm going to rinse my brush out here and then I can go and get some of that violet and we can add some flowers here. So I'm just going to make some little dashes that would be a little bit more detailed on top of the purple splotches that we made. I'm not drawing or painting like individual little flowers here. They're they're going to be fuzzy. They're not, um, this is such a small painting, so it's, 
gosh, it's hard for me to get the correct words here. It's the flowers are there, but we don't see every individual petal. So you don't need to make flower shapes. We can just dab it in there. Now I'm going to switch over to that uh, cardinal flower and I'll just make some maybe a little bit bigger clumps. It would just be like each dab is a flower sticking up. And then we have the fuzzy pink and purple in the background, which would be more flowers behind it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my green, and I think I'll mix in a little bit of the prairie sky, the blue, just to give myself a little bit of a darker green. And then we can go in and add some stems and some foliage that are coming out of here. So you can have some grassy pieces that are coming up. Oops, I got some of my pink on my brush there as I was going up. I'm just adding kind of some grassy strokes in here that would be the stems and you can add some thicker ones that would be like leaves I'm just kind of filling it in with little dashes and lines All right, and then I want that to kind of carry over so I don't have this gap right here. So I'm going to add some of my grass and just kind of switch back and forth with the yellow, the brown, the green. Just let it all kind of mix together and it ends up all blending together. We can add a few brown grass pieces sticking up out of our flowers. Maybe a little bit of the yellow. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead. I think this is dry. We can go ahead and add back in some of our bushes. Again, I want to get a darker green, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that blue to my green. We'll have maybe a little bush here that's in front of the hill. I'm just dabbing and making a rough bush shape. It's so far in the distance that you just see the shapes. You don't see every little branch of the bush. You were just seeing the shapes of it. And then we have maybe a couple trees that could be along this little line here, so I'm just going to add a couple little blobby bush things here. We'll have a little bit of trees here that are further ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of brown, maybe mix that in. Oh, let's add a little bit of the darker brown to it, the bur oak. Get ourselves kind of a medium brown. We'll just very faintly add in some little trunks for our trees here some very thin lines. Like it would be, just be so tiny because we're not seeing up close to the tree. Let's add another one over here. I'll do my, my trunk first. There's a tree way out here. And we'll go back to our green. Just dab over that. That one's a much, it, it would be huge if we were up close, but it's a little tree from this, from this vantage point. All right. There is a really, really pretty landscape when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. I'm going to dry it and then we can pull our tape off and that one can be finished. I'm going to go ahead and I'll pull my tape off now. I'm pulling away from my paper at an angle so that I have less of a chance of ripping it. Ta-da! That one is very, very pretty. I'm going to make a really, really great little postcard to send to someone.